viewers in this video we will try to know about we will try to learn about Childe Harold's Pilgrimage it is a long narrative poem in four parts written by Lord Byron the poem was published between 1812 and 1818 and it is dedicated to INT and it describes the travels and reflections of world weary young man who is disillusioned with a life of pleasure and a uh, revelry and looks for distraction in a foreign land uh, in a wider sense it is an expression of the melancholy and disillusionment felt by a generation weary of the wars of the post revolutionary and napoleonic era and the title of the poem uh, childe harold's pilgrimage it comes from the term childe which means a medieval title for young men who was a candidate for knighthood and this poem was widely imitated and contributed to the cult of the wandering byronic hero who falls into melancholic reverie as he contemplates scenes of natural beauty besides its autobiographical subjectivity was widely influential not only in literature but in the arts of music and painting as well and it was a powerful in ingredient in european romanticism uh, in the poem the youthful herol uh, he cloyed with the pleasure of the world and reckless of life and he wanders about europe and making his feelings and ideas the subject of the poem and in canto 1 he is in spain and portugal where he recounts the savagery of their invasion by the french and in canto 2 he moves to greece uplifted by the beauty of its past in a country now enslaved by the turks then in canto 3 uh, we find him in the on the battlefield of waterloo from which he journeys down the rhine and crosses into switzerland and chanted by the beauty of the scenery and its historic associations in canto 4 herold starts from venice on a journey through italy lamenting the venice heroic and artistic past and the subject status of its various regions then child herold he misses his daughter ada and he is sailing in a ship again and ready to go wherever they lead then he has thought about the past and the things he has done and feels that he is changed but the change of his past will stay and uh, stay with him forever then he arrives in belgium and visits waterloo then he also imagines a festival during the night before the battle and the men of the town leave to fight a uh, living to fight then he reflects on conquerors and kings and calls them fools because nature is better than men and anything that men can build or conquer that is useless or pure futile Childe Harold loves one woman with a pure love that cannot be broken. They are not married, but he misses her while on a journey. He sends her lilies, but knows that they are wilted before she receives them. Then he visits to the grave of a French soldier in Koblenz, Germany, and he reflects on the war again before traveling to the Alps in Switzerland. Then he feels that the mountains are a heaven that he cannot find in cities, and contrasts their beauty and peace to the busy torture of the cities. Then Childe Harold, a child of Harold, he uh, depicts the mountains during a storm at night and takes the and lakes and rivers of the Alps in detail. Then he thinks that a person who has never loved would learn to love in in the mountains around Lake Geneva. So that's a little introduction or detail about the poem. Please read the whole text. Have your own opinion. Take help from your professors.